blockchain creates a trustless ecosystem uh, that firms can operate in, which basically allow their data in a virtual environment to move seamlessly between either internal processes and departments that they have in one company, or between themselves uh, and their banks, their counterparties, and their regulatory uh, reporting agencies. So when a transaction or a bit of data is put onto a blockchain, it is uh, once again pre-reconciled, if you will. It cannot exist on a blockchain unless the party contributing the data and the party accepting the data uh, agree on that piece of data. And if it, if it does match that criteria, there's no need for reconciliation and shared in that environment. Think of um, a trade in a, in a trading environment and you need to give some information to a regulator, some inf information to a bank, some information to an insurance company without showing the entire transaction, counterparty names and things of that nature. You can then distribute security keys to those entities and actually do that and parse the data as you need to. And it even goes to uh, some of the nuances and the uh, difficulties in regulatory reporting. Uh, we're working very closely with a number of regulatory agencies right now, bringing our clients who are counterparties in the market to the regulators, working hand in hand to see how we can uh, improve the reporting requirements that they have on a daily basis and actually do that more quickly and more efficiently and more securely. We also are putting together uh, vast consortiums of market players, uh, counterparties, um, that are coming together to figure out how to actually use that in an energy-related supply chain and move data across that supply chain again very securely and very efficiently.